morning. Saturday, it's Tanya the Canadian Stampers. I fixed my hair. You know how you don't look at yourself until after you've left the bathroom and whatnot. So anyways, let's get to it. I This is gonna be so much fun. So it's called a tunnel card and I'm casing a design from uh, Jennifer McGuire, who is a crafter in the States. And she doesn't do Stampin' Up stuff. She does all kinds of different products and whatnot, but she's been around for probably 20 plus years. And she's amazing. She's honed her craft for sure. I love watching her. So tunnel card for her. And uh, we're gonna use Free as a Bird. And I've got a giveaway today, a little challenge, because I want to see what people make with this uh, design and whatnot. So let's get to it. I've set up my camera a little bit differently, and uh, I'm almost out of battery, so we, I need to um, be careful. So <laughs> let's just make sure I am organized. There we go. How's that? All right, so you can tell, do you see all my blends here? We're blending today. And this is, this is what we're working with. I'm giving some love to the annual catalog today, guys. I feel like the poor annual catalog just gets ignored when the other catalogs come out to play. So good morning, everybody. Is it cold outside? Um, perhaps I'm, we're doing a walk today, Zach and I, after this live. So put on my toque and whatnot. Okay. So I am standing today and so I might be a little bit shaky. Willow has commandeered my chair. Do you want to see Willow? Let's see if you can see her. There she is. There's Willow taking my chair as usual. Okay. Uh, page 83 of the annual catalog, Stampin' Up! annual catalog. Good morning to anybody who is new to my channel. I'm Tanya the Canadian Stamper. I'm in Colwood, BC, and uh, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here to inspire. So this is the stamps that we're doing. The catalog always gives suggestions, and I'm using this one because it's going to um, cover our window, like our little window, a lot. Anyway, so that's what we're using. And here are our pieces. So if you want to grab a pen, I'm going to tell you about this. I I did kind of make one of these, but I don't want to show you because I'm not I'm not super proud of it. <laughs> so. You're gonna see what this looks like. It seems more difficult than it is, but it's not terrible. So uh, if you want to get a pen, this is just a regular A2 size card base. And so, uh, let me start, let me, let me back it up. Let me back it up. So you're gonna start with a piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock, and you're gonna cut it in half. So you have two five and a half by 11, no five and a half by 11 pieces. You want two of them. And then, so that, so then you're gonna have these. And then to make the base, you're going to score at four and a quarter. And then what you're gonna do is on one of the ends, you're gonna chop off a half inch. And then you're gonna set this aside. Then for this other piece, which is five and a half by 11. Is that true? For some reason, I don't believe it. Eight and a half by five and a half. My notes are wrong. You want two pieces that are five and a half by eight and a half. Maybe I cut it wrong slightly. Anyways, uh, I will put the um, dimensions in the comments after with my link and all that jazz. But then you are going to take this piece and you're gonna score at a half inch then you're going to score at four and a quarter and then four and three quarters. Then you're going to fold up all your pieces. So you end up with like a little bit of a box. 
And this is kind of what's happening. It's gonna be like a shadow box card and it pops open. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be this way though. Cause my birds are this way. This is my bird stamp set. So it's gonna go in there. You see? So let's talk about this prize that I'm doing. I have this expressions of friendship. This is a hostess set from the new, I think it's the new catalog. I'm sure, I'm sure it is. And I lied to you. I don't actually know if it's from the new catalog. Let's look. Anyway, so the challenge is after this, if you make this card and post it, I'm gonna create a thread on Facebook after this or in YouTube, if you're watching on YouTube. And if you wanna post your project, I'll give you about a week or so, and then I'm gonna do a draw for the people who posted. We're gonna give away this guy. So it is from the new, this is the mini, Stampin' Up Mini from January to June, and it is. So it's actually a $31 value, it's a gooder. So there's lots that you can do with this. You can actually use this in the shadow box. So that's what's gonna happen there. Okay, so uh, I've never done one of these before and I'm a little nervous, you know, being live and all, but why not um, just get her done? We're just gonna try, we're gonna learn together and see what we come up with. Okay, so you are gonna need some double-sided sticky tape and some things to decorate with. This is our stamp set. So I think I'm gonna use a couple of these and we're gonna use these for these guys for the inside. Okay, so I'm just thinking about what I want to do first. I think I'm going to do, we're gonna do the outside of the card first. So the half inch piece that's at the back, uh, we want this at the back. And we're gonna decorate the front of our card. Uh, I need a block. So I thought maybe what I would do is I'm gonna stamp this bird. So we are gonna do some coloring today, like I said, and so that means like a little bit of sort of just chatting time as I'm coloring. So let's do this. So I've got Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I've got my bird. Uh, I'm gonna stamp it here and then I'm gonna punch this out after I color it. And that's gonna go on the front of my card. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna do this one too. I'm gonna do just a couple of flowers. Um, just thinking if I want to do it in black or if I want to do it in gray. Black is here, gray is not. Let's just do this. Yeah, I dig it. I really like this stamp set. I have a feeling, because it's been around for a bit, see my dots? This, every dot represents a, um, a catalog. I don't, I don't feel like it's gonna survive another round so that makes me sad. Let's do a, so I have a whole bunch of things here. So we're gonna color. So Stampin' Up! Blends, they're alcohol markers. They have two different tips. I prefer the brush tip myself. Um, this is Calypso Coral. So if you're new to blending with alcohol markers, hang on, I gotta get the other one of these. They come in, well, they didn't always, but they do now. They all come in a dark and a light. You used to just buy them individually. And uh, so I actually have some singles, which is no good. Oh, good morning, Zachary. I hear you. The teenager has awoken. Last night when we were going to bed, he's like, can I have French toast for breakfast in the morning? 
You're putting in your order early, buddy. He's taking foods though this semester at school. And uh, and I said to her, I'm like, you know, you can make your own French toast. I know that you have the skills. He'll help, I'm sure. Okay, so as you can see, I am doing dark in the center. And then I'm pulling, I'm trying to pull the dark and blend into the light. We always wanna do that. Pull from the dark and bring it to the light. So I am using Memento Tuxedo Black, that's important. Because alcohol markers, if you were to use say basic black, uh, then it will bleed. So this one is bleeding just a touch, but I think it's because I didn't let it dry. Then we're gonna fussy cut, y'all. My lovers and my haters of the fussy. So what's happening? Anybody wanna tell me what they're doing today? What you got on the go? Share with the group. Sharing is caring. I'm so behind in my schoolwork. I'm taking, I think I mentioned this, I'm taking a academic writing course at Royal Roads and uh, I am behind in my homework. I have an assignment due tomorrow. Uh, and we are comparing, I'm gonna tell you, get ready to be super like, that sounds lame, but we are, <laughs> we, we're doing a compare and contrast of different articles as it relates to slacktivism. No, slacktivist. What is slacktivist, you ask? Well, it is a term that they use for people who participate in online social activism activism but they they do it like armchair kind of activism is what they is what they call it there's different arguments all around for it but anyways the point is is like you know you're changing your facebook uh profile you know with like one of the frames i do that sometimes too and then you maybe donate money online or you sort of passively participate, I guess, in activism. It's like a whole different, something that the social media, something that social media has created. So it's kind of interesting, the different schools of thought. There's some people that think it's good. Some people think it's bad. Some, some studies show that it's like, it's an evolving thing. Some of the articles were written actually quite some time, like more than 10 years ago. And it's interesting to, um, read it and then sort of compared to what's happening right now in Ottawa and all over our country. It's kind of interesting. Uh, what do I want to do? I'm thinking about my bird. I feel like I want him to be blue. Kai and his friend to Wanda Fuca. It is going to take away time from your crafting, Kate. Oh, this is dark. I want light. Stand by. You could take a paper pumpkin with you, Kate. I'm just looking to see what my... Actually, I think I should do pool party because in my... I'm going to have this to go around the outside. So I'm going to matchy-matchy with pool party. So I'm going to go dark first and... I'm doing dark around some of the shadows. So I'm not, I did take a Copic um, online course. Uh, Sandy, what's her name? Ho, um, shoot, what's her name? She was great, she's amazing. She does amazing work with alcohol markers. So anyways, I took an online course and she has you doing all sorts of different practicing and understanding shadows and all the things. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I'm, I'm still not super good at uh, coloring, but it makes me feel more confident. And then you have online access to her courses so you can 
go back and take it or take more. Or... There's a, I think there's an art to doing alcohol marker, like blending and whatnot. And there's also some personal preference too. Like some people start with the light and go to the dark and then vice versa. I haven't quite mastered how to like leave some white so that it makes it seem like there's a bit of shadow there. Shadows, that's my Achilles, is the shadows. Anyways, do you guys color? You dig it? It's a thing. I used to, um, I don't know why I stopped doing it actually, maybe I'm too busy. I would stamp a bunch of images like this and then sit with Lance and we'd watch shows and I would do my coloring. Uh, I'm gonna do a pink beak. Now I am gonna use my circle punch. Now circle punches are retired. Sorry friends, I have to use dies. There's uh, circle layering dies. That's not gonna fit. I need a two inch punch, but my friend Cheryl Laidlaw, I sold you my other punch. Shoot, it's too big. Uh, okay, I have an idea. I'm actually gonna do, put them right kind of in the middle. So, what else do I need elements for my card? So this, I'm gonna do some stuff here. That's gonna go on the front and I'm gonna have my little flowers. So I'm happy with that. Now let's work. Let's keep all this together. Let's be honest. I'm going to lose all these pieces. All right. Now this thing. So, uh, originally when I cut this, uh, I was going to do a card that was this way. <clears throat> so it's a little bit shorter here and longer here. But I'm going to do it this way instead. Because, I, you know, the birds are... I'm not digging that. I feel like it cuts them off. What do you guys think? Should I do it this way and then add some pieces? Or do you think, all right, landscape or horizontal? That's the question, folks. I feel like this is the way to go because of the, but I have to know um, your input before. Stamping is next, so that's kind of a thing. I'm gonna glue this while Facebook catches up. And yeah, so my online, we're gonna, I'm gonna compare and contrast different articles. So that's what my afternoon is gonna be all about. My course goes for another, I think I'm in week four. I think it goes for another month. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's good. All right, what do we got? Landscape, horizontal, horizontal. Yes, horizontal, landscape, landscape. Okay, ladies. I hear you. And I agree. Everybody agrees. Well, maybe not everybody. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so to do this... Um, piece. So I'm using Stitch So Sweetly. Is that true? Shoot. Sorry. Stitch. Yes. Stitch So Sweetly. So I took a piece of Pool Party and put the two, put these two dies together on my cardstock. I'm using the bigger one. Yeah. 
so that's on there. Now, we're gonna do our birds. I need a pencil. I don't think I have a pencil. No, I'm pencilless. So let me just tell you to put this together just so you get a feel for it. So this is our card front. We're gonna take some, when I'm, I have to stamp and whatnot first, but we're gonna take a piece of Terran tape here and we're gonna line it up along our seam here. We're gonna then close this and glue it down. Then we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna put some more Terran tape here and then we're gonna close the card like this. And then when you open it, it's going to be our shadow card. Whoops, open it this way. Oh my gosh. Don't let me forget that it's landscape. I totally have my vision of doing the birds this way, which is, would totally mess me up. So in order to do this, I have to kind of see where my birds are. I really need a pencil, y'all. I was not thinking. What do you think? You like this so far? Um, I'm gonna do, geez, I don't, hang on, I gotta find a pencil. I'm chicken, I'm too chicken to do it in pen. So I just wanna kind of mark, ever so slightly. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, where's my... Now, uh, a smart person would use their Stamparatus. Not feeling smart today. Sorry for the shaking, I'm standing. You're gonna love this stamp, I love it. So I'm gonna go there. Let's hope it works or else I have to cut another base, kids. Nailed it. Ooh, my stamp fell. All right. Yeah, it's great. All right, let's color. That's really the fun part. So I'm going to do... Uh, so I've got some browns and I've got some greens. So I do like granny apple green. Now, when I was telling you, it comes, they come in blends, come in sets, but this is soft suede and dark crumb cake. I think I have light crumb cake. Yeah, but I don't have the partner to soft suede. So look at that tip. It's a bit um, not ideal happening here with you my brush tip so this just reminded me um, when I was telling you about coloring just let me think about what I'm doing I want a bit of dark and then I'm gonna do some light so like I was saying about uh, doing some coloring and whatnot we used to live in Langley and we would take the ferry quite a bit coming over to visit and whatnot. And uh, so I would bring like my bag of alcohol markers on the ferry with me. And then I would sit and just do some coloring and whatnot. And then one time um, there was like a couple little girls and they're like, oh, what are you like? What are you doing? What are you all about there? And uh, so anyways, they started coloring. I had like a whole little gaggle of gals coloring on the BC ferries, you know, like they set up, they each chose a seat and then they sort of kneeled on the ground and, uh, and did their, they did great. Helped me color all my images that I cut out and put on cards later. But yeah, it was fun. They're complete strangers. I just wanted to do some coloring. It was super fun. So see how I've got some dark at the bottom. So, I mean, it's a pretty thin little image, but it gives kind of a, 
And then if it's got, like on here, see how the line is pretty dark at the bottom? Don't worry, just uh, get the page wet and keep pulling dark to light or whatever you're trying to achieve. See, that happened there. It happened here, but see how that's a bit dark? I mean, I'm kind of higgly piggly here, but making sure the paper is wet, this is good. You want this. All right, so that part's done. Now I'm gonna do green. Uh, oh, I'm dark. See, I always do the dark first. So I'm just adding a touch. Uh, I might do a whole leaf green, but then some of these bigger ones, I'm just adding a touch of green. Now I'm not closing this all the way and I'm not doing all of them because like I said, I want to keep the page wet. So if I was to go and do all of them in green, like the dark green, by the time I finished blending over here, these ones would be, um, like the page would be dry, which is fine, it's not the end of the world, but it just makes blending a little more challenging. <laughs> Some people might be thinking like, good grief, Tanya, that's, that's pretty detailed. Like it's a pretty teeny tiny image. So I am just following the shadows on, on the image. Some of these lines. I think I'm done with this. Nancy, you and your Stamparatus, you still haven't opened it yet? I'm guilty. I haven't, I, I did think about the video this week. I haven't even sent out my newsletter, guys. It was supposed to go out on Thursday and uh, Constant Contact was doing some maintenance. So that was not ideal. And then um, I had to fix Lance's um, work pants. So I was kind of busy, so newsletter is going out after t after this Facebook Live. Well, actually, I lied to you. As you know, I have an order of French toast to do first, <laughs> and then I will do uh, my newsletter. This tip is not happy with it. So I'm gonna go the other tip just to fill in this little branch. See, now it's too dark, oh well. I think I'm gonna do the birds yellow. And I'm gonna do the flowers red. I'm not gonna blend the flowers. I'm just gonna leave them their full color. I'm gonna do them and I'm gonna do a few different colors. I just really enjoy coloring this stamp set. So the other the other um, project that I have with this is using the mischievous mice. So it's got the cheese and then the huge balloon. And I couldn't decide, but I have not used the mischievous mice before, so I was a bit intimidated to start coloring and doing it without having practiced. That looks very similar to what, to the red. Uh, I might be committed there to that one, standby. I'm using the light Calypso Coral because the dark just seemed a bit too similar to the Cherry Cobbler. He had breakfast before newsletter. Like he's capable of doing it on his own too. Um, maybe I'll do their beaks in yellow. All right, now the pressure's on. It's time for the body. I might do two bluebirds because I've got this guy. He's my bluebird and some yellow. Uh, let's let's just do it. So there's my dark spots. Mm, this little wing over here that's hiding. 
Might have to change his nose or beak, I should say. Oh, here comes Willow. I didn't know you left, Willow. Mm-hmm. Can you guys hear her? She's talking away. Hi, Willow. I don't know if you guys can hear her. Okay, so this is where I'm trying to put a little bit of fancy here with the shadowing. And I just, I want some more dark than what I have. Oops. Yeah, mom's French toast is better. You know why? Because he doesn't have to make it. Yes, Willow, I hear you. Oh my goodness. You can't come up, sweetie, sorry. There, that's better. So this guy's, I'm gonna alternate. All right, do some dark. Oh, shoot. It's okay, Willow, I fixed it. <laughs> you can hear her. She's talking away. I saw a Instagram video last night about two cats that were sitting next to each other and they're talking like how Willow is. They're like talking, What sound? it seems like they're talking to each other. It's pretty cute. All right, now let's do blue. Whoops. Okay, I did a bit of yellow here, but I think I can blend right over it. Blend right over. What else can I tell you about? Ooh, last call for Stamp Camp, by the way. Kits are going out this week. And I don't know if you saw my last newsletter, but uh, so, oh, the All Together Suite. That's the one that has all of the like neutral tones for blends. So you can do skin tones, but you could certainly use them for nature scenes and all kinds of stuff. I mean, you could use them for the branch here. And the blends are, you can't buy the suite anymore because it's sold out already, but the suite just means like one item code to order everything. So if one of the things in the suite is sold out or not available in back order, then you can't use the one item code, but it doesn't mean that the, that you can't buy other pieces of it, if you know what I mean. So I ordered the, I did order the blends. Uh, I think there's just one or two, I think it's two blends. Of the five sets, there's two sets that are sold out, but the dies, the stamp set, the uh, designer series paper DSP is all available. And oh, I'm happy with that. Then the Ocean Wave Suite. Have you guys seen that one? It looks amazing. Yeah, you're right, Kyle wants to hang out with me because that'll go right they won't want to hang anymore it's true it's a very true statement look at my eraser mess this up all right let's put this together uh do I want to put it together I think so I feel like maybe I want to do my outside first yep I do so let's do this Sorry, I need to grab my other ink. So to stick with my Granny Apple blends, we're gonna use Granny Apple here. And because my circle is big, too big for my little bird, 
I am going to add some texture around the sentiment or around the, the bird. So let's do that. This leaf, very pretty. Uh, so let's do this one. And I don't know that I'll color it. I do love the birds too. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty. Uh, just let me think for a second. I'm having a moment. Just want to think. Maybe here. What about this little guy? Ooh, maybe I should put a little sentiment on here, hey? How about hello? Um, sorry, let me think about my sentiment here for a minute. Thanks for being you. Thank you. Your friendship means the world to me. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, let's do it. I think I might do... I don't know why I'm indecisive about this. Oh, yeah. I kind of... Ooh, yeah, like that. Looks like he's sitting in the trees or in the leaves, right? That's what I'm going for anyways. I feel like my screen is super bright today. Uh... Sorry guys, I gotta grab another ink. Smokey's late. Calypso coral for this flower. Ooh, I like it. Should it sit right here? Oh my god, I'm nervous. I'm doing it. No, I wish I hadn't done it. <laughs> Too late now. Um, I might just leave that naked up there. I wish I hadn't done that. Well, it's on there now. Okay, so let's see what's happening with this guy. And then we'll put it together. Where's your cameos? What, I don't know what that means, Jody. See what this one looks like. Ooh, that's dark. Uh, it's better. This is uh, you just really lightly. See how I'm I'm pushing too hard. Just tap tap gentle. Whoops, too gentle. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm gonna go. I'm happy with that. So I'm doing second gen here. Sure. Sure. So let's get to the front of this card. All right. We've got our birds on the inside. Here's the outside. Oh, um... My chamois. Yeah, it's over uh, dried on my counter over there. <laughs> I um it's a great question, Jody. It is not being used. I should use it because it's a lot of stamps I'm rolling with here today. So let's build this up in the background. So I want to have my the front of my card not overly crazy 
because really my crazy is on the inside. That's where I want it. So I'm just gonna add, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm winging it. Why not? It might not be awesome, but I'm winging it. Okay, let's put this on with just regular glue. Do I want, yeah, I do. I do, I do, I do. And uh, I'm not gonna use any dimension just cause I haven't made one of these and I don't know what, I don't know what the depth, like the, like how thick it's gonna be. Ooh, I need a sentiment. Okay. I think I liked this one. Your friendship means the world to me. I think I'm gonna do that right over here. Or maybe up here. Yeah, up there. Okay. Oh no. Jody, you're right. Landscape card. <laughs> oh, thanks, friend. A little late, but, um, oh, shoot. Oh, well, we're still going to roll with it because I'm committed, right? It's all fixable. You know why? Because, um, I can't believe I did that. So I can... I'm still gonna do this as normal, like as if I didn't just mess that up. And, uh, but if you say do this for the challenge, uh, you can cut this front panel off and then use the back panel, like just chunk it out and then build the bases and front again and, uh, and do that. Good call, Jody. All right, so let's do our attaching. I knew I was gonna mess that up. That's so funny. Okay, so um, I'm doing. This is tear and tape. So uh, it's a strong double-sided adhesive tape. So you do want to use a strong adhesive for this, because it's what's holding your card together. So to put this together, so this is our half inch piece back here that we've cut off. So I'm gonna take this little flap and I'm gonna attach it. I'm gonna just put this, where are my words? I'm taking this and I'm butting it up to the edge of the card. So then I'm closing this like so. And then I'm gonna flip it over. And then what we wanna do is close this like so. So to do that, uh, I'm gonna put tear and tape. So see how the the little um, score lines. I'm going to the left of the score line. I suppose you could do um, stamp and seal plus too. Okay, so for the challenge, I really hope people use a variety of options. Because really, there's no limits. And you can choose to make the front more fancy if you want. Oh, here comes Willow again. She just desperately wants to know what's happening up here. Okay, so we have our tear and tape on. This is the back of our card. And we are just going to follow the score lines and 
close this. You only get one shot at it because of the tear and tape. Now, there's our front. Ta-da! And there's our little box. So, I love it. I absolutely love it. So let's pretend I didn't mess this up. And that's how it's gonna go. Now, I do want to put a little birdie right here. Ooh, and, and, uh, I thought about maybe doing, I have some clouds. So, tricks. Taking pieces, let me just open this, pieces of uh, embe like embellishments and things. I don't think clouds really, I thought maybe that would be okay, but not so much. But I guess my, my point is, is that you're using your base, base of the card, obviously, but then don't be afraid to use this side of the card to add dimension to your project. This as an example, if we were gonna add clouds. So let's, so what I was gonna do is, this is the sun, sunshine paper, and this is the new cloud punch. So I'm just gonna show you because this paper, celebration paper, matches the punch. You can pop out a little happy little cloud to go back here. I'm not gonna do it because it doesn't really fit. But even if it didn't, like you can, you don't, you're not limited to this. You can, you can, you know. So you have less. That I mean, that you don't really even tell that's a cloud, but you know, you get what I'm where I'm going with this. So. Um, I think I am going to do another little bird because I have him mounted already. Ooh, another branch. Yes. Really, Nancy. That's, um, I like where you're going with that. Let's stamp this guy. And then let's get crazy. I'm doing your suggestion. I'm going to see if I can trim away this branch. Um, maybe another die cut actually with a branch would be good. Or some leaves. Yes. Yes. Keep going, ladies. I also brought this out, which is the... I don't remember the name of this punch. Does anybody remember? Uh, you could do this. Like you could, I don't really want to fussy cut that. I'm not down with that. I'm not down with the fussy cutting right now. This guy's going to be Calypso Coral. It might be a bit bright. But let's just see. You know how their tummies are all red? And then sometimes they have these beautiful feathers in here that are super red. We have a ton of birds in the backyard. I love it. I heard them chirping actually. Uh, and I didn't have any windows open or the door open or anything. They were giving her. Can you guys believe I messed up my landscape versus horizontal? Oh well, it's good practice. I wonder if any of you have this bird set, Free as a Bird. It used to come with um, some dies um, that poked out or that did like this shape. They were beautiful. They're retired now, but I do, I did enjoy those. Do a little bit more. Right, so contest uh, I'll do for a week. I'll also put it in my newsletter so that 
you know about it. All my people who are not lovers of Facebook, you can still participate. I really like that one. He's beautiful. Uh, where's my circle punch? Missing? Oh, here it is. So this one's going to be a bit, he's going to be too big for this, but I might just chop it. See how he's too big for that? All right, I'm fussy cutting. I'm doing it. You've got it, Janice. Do you color the birds too? Who else has? Nancy's got it. It's an oldie but a goodie, hey ladies? Oldie but a goodie. Ah, so now, actually sidebar, I'm gonna do, well, I'll do it after. I'm gonna create like a little ground for him to stand on, him or her. This is going to be better than the circle. Oh, I got to color his beak. It's beak. So even if you do have that hostess set, let me bring it in again. Where is it? Here it is. This is the prize, guys, if you're just joining or you're a bit late. Expressions of friendship. So I'm gonna post the dimensions to make the pop-up card. Pardon me, tunnel card. And then if you wanna post it in the thread I make, and then I'm gonna do a draw for the stamp set. Uh, because why not? We're all making cards anyways, aren't we? Ah, that's good. I'm gonna add just a little bit of ground for this and what does this say at the front your friendship means the world to me and then let's put we're the best of friends mm, no because it doesn't fit how about just thanks for being you where is it Thanks for being you. All right, we're coming to the end. Yeah, you're ready to get back to it. Janice, your Renos hopefully come have come to an end. Uh, oh, I guess I need some paper first, don't I? <laughs> All right, so let's cut, need paper to stamp on. So let's do this and then where's my white paper? Let's do, I might actually just wait, just wait. I'm a hot mess here. I just didn't want to do a big chunk of punching if I didn't have to. And I'm indecisive about how I want to layer my bits here. So we can go like so. Okay, I better do this. So if I have this bird, see what I mean? I wanna give them something, maybe this. I don't hate this in the background, but we're getting kinda of to the end here, ladies, and maybe gents. I might just do this with a little 
Thanks for being you. I feel like something needs to be up here, but I'm not gonna fuss with it right now. Maybe white. I think I'm gonna do white. I'm doing it. And I'm gonna do it just off to the side a bit because I want the bird to stand partially on it. Okay, so just a tiny bit on his tummy. So yeah, see how much the ink has gone through? That's good, you want that. With coloring, this is gonna be sticky because I put too much glue. You want to have you want to have that saturation of ink in your paper. Oh crud, put too much glue on this. Might be okay. Might be okay. There. All right. So let's let that get sticky for a moment. So recap, because we're winding down. Last call for Stamp Camp. Newsletter is coming out after French toast. I'm just putting glue on the bottom to stick it down. And uh, the challenge if you wish to accept, is to create a tunnel card like this, which I'll put the dimensions and things up after, and post it in the thread I'm gonna make, and possibly enter, you're gonna enter to win the stamp set. So even if you have the stamp set, you can always give it away. I'm just, not on my game today, guys. That's okay. It's reality. It's reality TV you're watching. <laughs> okay. I just don't want to close. I want to just give it a second to dry. Yes, Nancy, I can add a branch later above. Um, I do... Yeah, but I think what I'll do, because I was thinking I might just color this and then cut it, but I think just a die, um, a branch die, or even freehanding it and then adding in some wood type texture with a blend. So there's the front. So it goes into an envelope fine, see? And then when you open it, ta-da! I love it. I love this design. It's awesome. So those uh, that's the project for today, guys. So the other one I'm gonna do later, once I feel better about my schoolwork, is I'm gonna use this. This is the, these are the other pieces that I had organized for today, but I chickened out and it uses the mischievous mice. And I'm gonna use this uh, wood grain, I think it's called In Good Taste, maybe, paper to go in behind and then a little mouse hole, like a little one of their doors. Oh, I need to cut it more like this. And then the mice are gonna be there. And then this is going to be the base because I'm going to color the cheese and put the cheese back there. So that's the next project with this design. So I will put that in my thread. Yeah. So thanks for spending time with me today, guys. I really appreciate you watching and participating, helping a girl out. There's our project. Enjoy the afternoon. I'll see you online, social media, all that jazz. Enjoy the newsletter that's coming to you after French toast time. And have a great weekend. Bye for now, guys.